Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Adam. Uh, in today's session, I will be telling you about the order to cash process, which is also known as uh, O2C. And after that, uh, we will be going to our NetSuite application and uh, we will see how this uh, process works in our NetSuite application. Let's start now. So order to cash uh, refers to the process uh, that starts the moment a customer places an order and uh, ends up when an invoice is paid and settled out. Uh, we can say that the order to cash is looking at all the activities that are conducted uh, right from the time the company receives an order from the customer till the time cash is received against that order. This process uh, allows business to forecast their revenue, uh, track sales and enhance the inventory item management and helps in resolving errors and delay, delays and helps in taking the proper decision. Uh, optimizing the order to cash process will impact every aspect of the business. Uh, it lies at the center of what makes a business a profitable. Uh, this approach, this order to cash approach has combined the technology consulta consultative services and the financial services. So there are various steps that are followed in this process. So here we are having the process uh, flow of the O2C cycle in which the first step is the order management. So uh, what happens, uh, just like a P2P cycle where uh, the first step is creating a vendor, so for uh, order to cash, uh, there is required a customer, uh, like uh, who, is, uh, who is there for placing an order for us. So the first step in the O2C process is the order management. Uh, the process gets started by entering a sales order and that contains the details of the customer, the order receipts, its quantity, its rate and the other required details of the order. Uh, once the order management is, uh, once the order is received, the credit is checked, which means that there would be a check against the credit limit that is assigned to a particular customer. Uh, so uh, when the credit management is, uh, when the credit is managed uh, for any particular customer, the order fulfillment take place. Uh, the order would be shared with the dispatch team at the factory or at the warehouse. Order fulfillment consists of picking and packing. And when the order is fulfilled, it is shipped to the shipping address and that are given by the customer. Uh, along with shipping, the next step is the customer invoicing. Along with shipping, the invoice would get uh, generated and uh, against the sales order. And when the invoice is generated, once the invoice is automatically generated by the system, it gets posted into the uh, customer's uh, ledger. And when the accounts receivable process is done, the collection, uh, the payment collection is made, which means that the collection could be in the form of cash or check that will be deposited into the customer, into the company's bank account. When the collection, uh, when the payment is uh, completed, the last step uh, in the process of O2C cycle is as important as the first one. So uh, the reporting is done. Uh, the why reporting is done just to know the exact or the correct position of the business. Like monitoring and analyzing data can help business to see the accurate accurate picture and to know uh, what needs to be done to streamline the O2C system. So reporting can be done into various uh, can be done for various reasons like if the customer is unable to pay uh, within the uh, proper within the given time limit. So what can be done for that? So these are these are all the things that are considered uh, uh, for the uh, reporting. So this is how the order to uh, cash uh, process works in every business. The first step in the order to cash cycle is creating a sales order for which we will be going in, into the transaction sales and enter sales order. So here a sales order form has opened up. A form has already been selected as standard. So we have to select a customer. I'm taking here the 
one that I have created. So here you can see the date is already been here. The status shown, uh, two status are shown here, pending approval and pending fulfillment. So we will be leaving it as pending fulfillment. Uh, we can provide the start date and end date of this sales order. If this sales order uh, is associated in, with any purchase order, we can mention its name, mention its number, sorry. Uh, under the lead source, like I am taking here this B2B lead nurturing. You can see that the subsidiary that is associated with this customer America has already been here. We have to select a currency for it, USD. Now uh, we have to select an item for which we want to uh, create this sales order. Making here this Dell laptop for sale. You can see that I am I am make, uh, making this purchase uh, sales order for uh, only one uh, laptop. You can see the rate and amount are here, and uh, if we click on it, if we want to uh, uh, create sales order for more items, we can select more items over here if we want to. And after doing this, you can see that the amount is uh, taken up here. We will click on save. So here you can see that the sales order has been successfully saved. Now the next step in the process is to fulfill the order. So we will click on fulfill. Uh, we will, you can see that now the status shown over here is shipped, already shipped, date, posting period, customer's name, everything is here. We will go down and we will provide location for it. You can see that we have uh, made a sales order for one laptop and after doing this, we will click on save and build. So here we can see that the invoice has been generated as the item has shipped. This is for cust uh, phenomenal group invoice. If we want to edit this number, we can edit it. Posting period, everything is here. And after making a cross check, we will click on save. Here we can see that now the invoice is open. Uh, if we want to credit it or if we want to accept payment, so we will be uh, click on accept payment. So here yeah, we can see a payment form has opened up. Uh, we just have uh, we just do a cross check of it. We can see that the uh, customer name is here, payment number is here, balance, uh, currency exchange, it everything is here. So these are the two options. If we want to uh, uh, undeposit this one, we can uh, click it, click on it, and if we uh, click on the <coughs> account tab. So here we have to select uh, an account for in which we want to deposit this amount for like I am taking here this deposits. And we can see that the these are the various invoices that have been uh, associated with this customer. If we want to uh, pay all the invoices, we can click on it and if we don't want uh, if you uh, like, I want just you know this invoice two zero two zero zero six to be paid uh, to be you know received. So I will click uh, check this box, and you and I will click on save. Now our whole uh, process has been completed. Now we can see that the payment has been deposited. The status shown over here is deposited. 
so we have gone through all the seven process of the order to cash cycle now the last step is remaining that is reporting and in order to see where are these amounts are appearing in our reports uh, so for that we will be going under the reports under the customers and receivables AR register we will be going under the AR register so as we uh, the first thing that we have to do is to change the period and the subsidy so we do not have to change it and the ar receivable account account receivable account is affected uh, with this transaction so we will go down and check for phenomenal group you can see that this is the invoice number 2006 and this the status shown over here is paid we have made a sales order for 1000 and you can see uh, for 18th of april for phenomenal group the invoice uh, has been paid for 1000 dollars so this is the uh, first uh, thing that we can do the other way around is we will be going under the reports customers and receivables and ar payment history by payment here also we can see this the detail of this transaction here you can see the payment number is here there this is the customer phenomenal group you can see for uh, 18th of april for uh, 1000 dollars a payment has been made if we click on it it will take us to the payment page and if we click over here it will take us to the invoice page so these are the uh, transactions uh, that have uh, been taken place on 18th of april and here we can have a look of it and uh, if we want to see this transaction to our balance sheet so we will be going under the reports financials and balance sheet so here we can see that two accounts in under the two accounts that the data accounts receivable and deposits we can have the the detail of this transaction so under the ar these are the various transactions relating to ar so this is the one that we have created today for phenomenal group you can see that it is shown under the payment the amount is for 1000 it is shown under the accounts receivable if we go back to summary since the amount has been deposited so it will be showing under the deposits so we will click on it and you can see that for phenomenal group 1000 dollars the payment has been made and the record is shown over here so this is how we can uh, uh, we, we can uh, proceed uh, towards the whole process of order to cash and at the end we can have a view of these amounts into our reports and uh, that's all from my side in case of any questions queries and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you